I gave some a little bit earlier, but many symptoms from cancer to infertility can happen um, 28 years after exposure. And it also depends on how long you're exposed to it and the dosage that you ingested or you breathed in. You can get tumors, hair loss, thyroid issues, let's see, nausea, fatigue, diarrhea, dehydration, destruction of the intestinal lining. And, of course, there's a possibility for central nervous system damage. So we need to look at all of these possibilities and not become an alarmist, but just become an activist for your own life (laughs) because that's what it's coming down to. The real-time threat of radiation contamination to food supplies is prompting more testing in Japan. That's why they're catching the the ground beef and the meat that uh, where the cows were eating um, hay that was had radiation all over it. And around the world, a lot of people are testing for it. Um, in certain areas that are more progressive in the United States, like California, we're doing a lot of testing for it. Now, first, it was Germany, and now it's Switzerland. These are the two countries that have decided to phase out nuclear nuclear energy completely. Isn't that great? Yeah. And who was the genius who decided that uh, Japan needed, I heard, of, I heard 55, but certainly 50, all 50 nuclear Power plants are currently shut down in Japan. The people there do not want them turned back on. But who's the genius that decided to build that many nuclear power plants on on a on, on a fault line? I mean, in an area that's notorious for major earthquakes. It was some genius uh, that has a huge bank account. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's I that. Mean, lo- this is all about money. This is all about money, and that's what this is being reduced to, and it's affecting our health. So, um, you know, this is something we need to take action and protect ourselves. Okay, I don't want to confuse anybody. I just want to make sure that they have your website correctly. It's Natural Healing Pro, yes? Yes. All right, good. All right, good. Well, I've got this little Secret Service-style uh, headset earpiece here, and it's they're just not as cool as they look in the movies. They're really it's not. NaturalHealingPro.com, and if you want just, information, then go to wellnesscenter.net. I have two websites. But if you want to learn uh, more about the homeopathic radiation and the iodine, you can go to naturalhealingpro.com. You know, the thing that uh, when we were kids, we thought, okay, there were nuclear bombs went off in Japan back in World War II, and then the fallout came down, and first there was the heat and the immediate destruction, and the fallout came down, and people got sick, and, and now look... Hiroshima and Nagasaki are both thriving cities again. Great place to party, looks like, according to the pictures. But what is difficult for people to get their minds around is that this stuff spreads. It gets everywhere. Is there anything to indicate? Now, I know you're in California, but is there, a, is there any, anything to indicate that it's moving toward the center of the country? I, I've been monitoring radiation levels myself, and I don't see anything above background where I am in the uh, southwest. But it, it, I, I think that it's mostly on the western part of the United States, and as the wherever the jet streams go is going to be the heaviest supply, the heaviest amount of it landing. I think that the center of the country is probably the safest. Um, I think also you're looking at the if you're looking at the East Coast, um, they have not. I haven't seen any reports that they have any measurable increase over normal. And so they, the thing that really bothers me is they've created normal. They've created, you know, this is a normal amount of radiation. Well, there is no normal amount of radiation. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, yes. So that is really, it, they make their own rules to try, because of money, because they don't want to spread fear, and because they don't realize that people need to exercise their voice and communicate, and I think that's what they're afraid of, is that people's voice, they're going to start getting in touch with their voice and start expressing it. 
And so I don't think they want that to happen. And I think everybody needs to turn into an activate activist for your own healing. Yeah, I understand that, that there are 100, 125 million people in Japan. I understand there have been some uh, discussions as to whether or not it might not it might be necessary to evacuate the entire country, let alone just Tokyo, creating an enormous humanitarian disaster. Where would all if, if such a thing were to happen? Where would they go? Or are we just dealing with a colossal unknown with a horrific potential? Well, I think it is a catastrophe that has never been anything like this has ever been seen because it's still happening. And I think that people should leave the island um, immediately, leave Japan, go to another country. And they're not all going to go to one country. They're going to go to different places, you know. And I think we need to look at taking people in and what the, what what's going to happen to all these people. And you know the most amazing thing that I heard which was shocking, was that I was in the store talking to somebody about their their green tea, and I said, you know, your green tea comes from Japan. And they said, oh, but the reports are that it comes from the other side of Japan, and there's no radiation there. And I'm thinking to myself, I said, no, that is not true. Whoever is telling you that is telling you that to so that you buy the product, you see. Good grief. You know, it's just not necessarily what you say, it's just how many people you can say it to, isn't it? It's exactly the truth. You know, there are three major types of ionizing radiation. There are alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. And we need to understand about these, these three types. And also that the, the exposure to uranium and even drinking water may result... In, in kidney failure, okay? Some people who drink can, uh, water containing alpha emitters, such as uranium, in excess over their um, conjured up contamination level over many years have an increase in, in getting cancer, kidney cancer. So we need to look that it's in the water supply. And that's why I brought that up. We need to look that it's in many different things. Now, what about water? Let's talk about water. With something we drink all the time, we buy bottled water in plastic that contains bisphenol A. Yep. But now, what about the springs? Okay. Indeed. Yeah. So we need to look at um, what kind of a filter is going to get the radiation get the radiation out. And I believe that uh, uh, reverse osmosis may do a very good job at that, albeit I'm not 100% convinced. I am told by experts that it should help to get the radiation out. Yes, the water supplies in, uh, in certain parts of the country, particularly central Texas, uh, there's radium there, and they have actually, the, the water just flowing through the water pipes has made the pipes radioactive. This technician was saying, yeah, when it hits a six, I turn away from it. It's like a six. A six is really pretty high, pal. It is. So you are having it in Texas. Oh, absolutely. And the Environmental Quality Board's been covering it up for years, years and years. And it's still a, a Houston television station, um, Channel 11 down there, did a story. It's a year old, but I don't see any additional stories on it. And the water uh, quality has not improved, and the radiation has not been removed. So... It's just the same thing. Uh, again, it's if it's not uh, if it's not top of mind, if it's not being talked about, if it's not on the news, if it's uh, so many people still believe. Well, if it's not on television, you know, from a reliable network source, then well, it must not be true. Must not be important. Must not be worth our attention. Which is right. why Alex Jones has his uh, his organization and uh, coast to coast. We have our organization. That's why we work so closely together to try to get the. Uh, the word out, because the mainstream media is not doing it. And that's the truth. And I can tell you something that, that you can see the difference. When I was um, exposed to Chernobyl when it blew up, they didn't announce it for two weeks. Is that all? Only two weeks? Yeah, because they didn't want to hurt the tourist trade in the south of France. And that's why all these millions of people did not died. It's because of money. So I couldn't get any reports on why I was sick or what was going on. I didn't even 
know why I was sick. And I went to, I have family in Switzerland. So I went to Switzerland, and it's the only country every 15 minutes, every 15 minutes on their basic news, they announced the rats on the ground and the rats in the Alps. Excellent. We'll come back with Dr. Teresa Dale in just a moment. John Wells sitting in for Alex Jones on The Alex Jones Show. All right, John B. Wells in for Alex Jones, who will join us shortly here on The Alex Jones Show. Delighted to be with you, and please um, please join us on Coast to Coast AM, where Alex is a, a good friend and a frequent uh, guest on the program, and he has had me on his program, and so that is why we are together, and that is why I am with you now. He's been covering the Bilderberg um, deal, and uh, he's going to tell us all about it here in just a little while. But now we have Dr. Teresa Dale, and I uh, was just looking at her website, naturalhealingpro.com. You will find uh, products there that will help sustain your life, I believe. That is my opinion, and hers as well. And she's living proof that um, if you apply these techniques, you can survive um, You can survive things that others cannot if they do not take steps to save themselves. And uh, then, of course, we have, we have um, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsShop.com goes to the same place, I believe. And then we have mine, which is CaravanToMidnight.com. We sell radiation detectors from Russia and also a nice American-made one, too. Dr. Dale, um, we just have a few minutes left. Please tell them anything that you want to. Just let it all out. All right. Well, you know, I feel that many people don't understand the jet stream and what it is. It's a narrow air current. It's found in the atmosphere of some planets, including Earth, and people think, oh, Fukushima isn't going to get to me because I'm in this state. Well, it's going to get all over. And, you know, the polar jet stream, for example, can travel at speeds greater than 100 miles per hour. Yes. Okay? So um, we have a faster jet streams, we have slower air currents, and we need to understand that it's all over the United States, that you're listening to this, it's there. It's in rainwater, okay? It's in um, our groundwater. It's in. Uh, it's found in milk in Phoenix. All right. It's found in milk in Phoenix and and L. A. and Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah. Okay. So we have this issue, and it's about not waiting to do something until it's too late. Um, it's about taking action now having a healthier life, and to neutralize radiation not only from Fukushima, but the EMFs um, from your cell phones, your, the radio towers, that the cell phone radio towers, and I'm going to give you a place where you can look that up and see if there's one near your house, okay? Tell us, good, tell us very quickly. We're getting short on time, I'm sorry to say. It's called AntennaSearch.com. It's okay. a nonprofit, and you need to check it out. AntennaSearch.com. Right. Well, I am planning to um, speak with you this coming Saturday night. Wonderful. On Coast, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll put the word out some more, because here's the thing, everybody. The government's not putting the word out. The mainstream media, as Mr. Jones has said over and over, and I believe it, and I've said it as well, the mainstream media is bought and paid for. They're not going to tell you. So people like Dr. Teresa Dale, she has her, her center. She has some products. She has her knowledge. She has firsthand experience of Chernobyl. And um, go to her site and see what can be done for you. Be aware. It's time for us to live a more serious and sincere life or suffer the consequences. Dr. Dale, Teresa, thank you so much thank for being on the show. Thank you John Wells. Thank you. Talk to you soon. All righty. Bye-bye. All right. Coming up next, uh, Mr. Jones. Make